Flattened trees and snapped power poles marked the tornado's path. Debris is scattered over two counties and at least 14 homes and businesses are damaged or destroyed. Our whole house started shaking, the windows started busting out, and then it was gone. An elderly couple was killed when their home collapsed, as was a 78-year-old neighbor who was in his barn milking cows. There were numerous injuries, some critical, but everyone is accounted for as neighbors rescued neighbors. I heard him yelling, you know, and walked over. He had his hands sticking out. He had blocks all over him. His head was bleeding, and uh, we dug him out. This small town woke up to the sound of warning sirens at 6 a.m. Just nine minutes later, the tornado hit, demolishing the volunteer fire station and trapping emergency equipment inside. Homes were shredded, but this tree is still standing. Two of these six chicken houses are gone, leaving hundreds of dead carcasses. And families examined what was left of their homes, combing through the rubble, looking for anything recognizable. It'll hit this house and then there's one right next door, you know, just across the way that's still standing and this is the worst I've ever seen. Winter tornadoes are rare, but unusually warm weather here collided with a cold front, propelling this storm system through northwest Arkansas and into Missouri, causing extensive damage to housing at the Fort Leonard Wood military base. Nearby, three women died when their homes were leveled. The tornadoes then moved from the countryside into the suburbs of St. Louis County, population nearly one million. The power went off and told everybody to start taking cover. At about midday, a twister ripped through Sunset Hills, damaging properties within a hundred yard radius. We panicked. I had to get off the table with my therapist and be underneath the table and we prayed. In Sparta, Missouri, Jessica Barnes is counting her blessings. She had just seconds to grab her three-year-old son and jump into the bathtub for safety. I placed him in the tub first and then laid on top of him. And when I, we came to, he actually was on top of me. And the uh, first thing he said was, my house is broken. <laughs> Well, there are many broken homes here in Cincinnati, Arkansas. Again, about 24 homes destroyed here, right in the middle of what was the main area of this town. Just complete devastation. The Red Cross is here. They say they've been helping people today and beginning tomorrow morning. They will help them sort out where they go from here. Harry? Don, what is seen there tonight? These storms seem to have come out of nowhere. Is the storm uh, system finished for the night? It's not. It's still moving across the country, Harry, toward the east. There have been reports of tornadoes today in Illinois this evening, and there are concerns about severe weather and tornadoes from Chicago all the way down to Louisiana tonight. Don Teague in Cincinnati, Arkansas this evening. Good job. Thank you very much. Sunset Hills, Missouri was also devastated by a tornado, and Cynthia Bowers is there. Cynthia, what does it look like? Well, it's dark here. The power is out. But what we're told is that much like uh, Don just reported, folks here say the tornado system came through so quickly that it just touched down about 400 yards behind me over this shoulder and came across where I'm standing and then it was gone. But in the meantime, while it was down, it leveled about 20 homes and businesses. It toppled power lines and trucks. And they say cars actually were pushed down the street as if they were still on and rolling. A lot of people feel really lucky tonight because they took refuge in a bar restaurant called O'Leary's. It was right at lunchtime just afternoon. 20 or so folks were gathered inside when this storm came through. Windows were shattered and the building was shaking and they feel that they are all lucky to be alive tonight. FEMA will be in here tomorrow morning to start assessing the damage. Meanwhile, power crews are out and rescue teams are combing through the rubble, making sure that there's nobody there and trying to get the power back up so they can continue working on this, Harry. But again, it's this fast moving storm system that caught everybody off guard. Mm. Cynthia Bowers in Sunset Hills, Missouri. Amazing. No fatalities. Thank you so much.